Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to my channel for another Hot Toys Star Wars figure review. Now today we're taking a look at the patrol trooper from everyone's favourite Star Wars movie, Solo. Now I know a lot of people didn't actually like Solo and a lot of people won't be getting this figure, but I'm here to tell you that that might very well be a mistake. This looks to be one hell of a figure, it's a unique trooper design and I bet you he's going to show up somewhere else in Star Wars canon, be it The Mandalorian or a future film, so definitely do pick this guy up if you have the chance before it skyrockets in price. Now I got this guy from Philip. Liu the Toy Wizard from Toys Wonderland HK. If you want to pre-order any of the Endgame figures or even pick up this Patrol Trooper, his links are down in the description below to his Facebook, Instagram, and eBay store as well. So anyway, enough of that. What we're going to do now is get all of the Patrol Trooper's accessories out here and take a look at everything he comes with. All right, now moving on to the accessories. I know it's about that time of the video where everyone goes down to the comments and complains about how back in the day Hot Toys gave us so much with the figures and nowadays we get so little. But I mean, really, what else could this guy have come with other than his bike and of course Hot Toys wasn't going to do that for a movie that pretty much flopped. But first of all let's take a look at the display base. So it is that traditional Star Wars style display base except in this instance the actual sticker is adhered to the top of the base for you. So there's no option of interchanging it. It's just adhered on there but I do really like the metal nameplate which they've gone back to. They really switch back and forth between plastic and metal and I really like this one. The interesting thing to note though is that there was no plastic covering when I got this out of the box. It was just bare metal. So do be careful that that isn't scratched up when you do get it. Now he also does come with his blaster and I've taken the liberty of putting it in his hand because I want to note how interesting it is the way it actually sits in there. These bottom two fingers are actually connected to the hand so it sort of sits on top of them. Really really interesting but it gives you a nice sort of pointed down gun effect and I really do like the way that Hot Toys have done this blaster. Now you can also see that in the actual scope there there's a little bit of a gloss effect and I really like how that looks and there's a nice weathering effect throughout all of the hands. They're the traditional Stormtrooper style hands. I don't know if they are new sculpts or not. I think they might be based off the style. They could be a reuse of the Rogue One ones. You'll have to let me know. But I do like the weathering on them. They do look really, really nice. And the final thing he comes with is this sort of baton. It doesn't expand or anything, but it is storable on the body. You just have to be careful when you're sliding it in not to scratch up the paintwork, but it's a really nice ribbed sort of plastic piece. It's not rubber or anything like that, but it is detailed really nicely. And it's got a bit of weathering on it as well. So that's pretty much it for the Patrol Troopers accessories. Again, I know it's not, of a, hell of, uh, not a hell of a lot of stuff that he's come with, unfortunately. But again, what else? could he have come with. Now what I'm going to do is get the figure out here but I'm going to use the Death Star Walls. This guy doesn't come with the Death Star Wall. It came with the Han Solo Stormtrooper disguise but I'm going to put it in the background so you can actually see the figure because the white background makes it a little bit hard to see the figure himself. Here we have the Patrol Trooper himself and as I promised standing in front of Han Solo's Death Star Wall and he does look really really good. I'm a big fan of what Hot Toys have done here with this figure. I love the weathering throughout. You can see even on the helmet on the front there there's just this pitting effect throughout the entire surface of the armor. It doesn't have a necessarily super glossy look. I mean, it is glossy, but it's nowhere near as glossy as the A New Hope Stormtroopers. You can see that there's sort of dirt and grime collected in this front piece. And I love the detailing on here with the little green button and all these little pieces. It looks like a Stormtrooper that we would have seen in A New Hope or any of the other original trilogy Stormtrooper sort of designs. Now, I do like that there are straps on the front of the armor here, and they are actually fabric straps as well. They didn't cheap out and give us plastic straps. I do like the sort of mixed media effect. Effect. And I really like this matte black piece of plastic that is on the back of the helmet. It gives it a really sort of, I don't even know, stealthy sort of vibe. And I really do like what Hot Toys have done. And you can see the weathering carries on throughout as well. Now, I do like the fact that the shoulder pads are connected to the arms, not connected to the body. So that means you can get the arms rotated all the way forward if you want to have him in a blasting pose. And I do appreciate that. And that means that the arm is not actually connected to the undersuit. It's actually just pegged in. So that means that you won't get this rubber disfiguring over time. And yes, I can confirm this is a rubber appliance. This isn't a pleather as I first thought. And it feels a little bit flimsy. I don't know. I, it feels like it could withstand a few poses here and there. But just be careful over time not to leave it in a permanently bent pose. Because I reckon it could warp and damage. Moving the camera down to the lower half of the patrol troop. I really like what they've done here with these sort of points on the armor. It's really aggressive and I like the way it looks. I don't know if it has any functional purpose, but I just like the way it looks. Now, there are straps down the bottom here. They are all molded. They aren't actual straps, unfortunately, but it looks really cool. And there's a lot of little intricate pieces. You can see these sort of leather underparts. I really like what Hot Toys have done here, including all the weathering. This guy is weathered throughout. He's a really, really nicely done piece. It looks like a stormtrooper from a lived-in world, and I really do like that. Now, I do like his really baggy pants. They've done a good job of giving him these pants 
stance based off obviously the movie and it does allow for a pretty decent range of motion. I don't go through articulation in my videos but if I did I would tell you that they do allow for a decent range of motion and you won't have any problems with them creasing because they are actually material pants and not rubber overlays which I do appreciate. Now bringing out the Shaw Trooper for a quick side by side comparison you can see that the Troopers are around the same height which kind of works if you're thinking of these guys as clones because technically based off the prequels the Stormtroopers were clones in the Empire it's just in the First Order that it changed around a little bit so it's good to see that they are the same height and they're keeping it all very consistent. Moving on to the three cool and three annoying things about the Patrol Trooper the first cool thing is all the weapon storage so you can holster his blaster and you can also store his baton on the side. I really do appreciate the fact that they went ahead and included some weapon storage so you can have him displayed with all of his accessories. The second cool thing and I already mentioned it in the overview is the fact that you can move the arms independently of the undersuit so that means you can have it in a permanently forward display shooting a blaster without worrying that the suit underneath is going to get damaged and equally as much with these shoulder pads they're not connected to body they are connected to the arms themselves so same thing you don't have to worry about stressing out any material underneath. The third cool thing is this metal nameplate I went on about it in the accessory section I'm going to do it again it is just so stunning I love what they've done here and I really like the Millennium Falcon on the front I hope they continue that with the rest of the solo figures. The first annoying thing is this rubber overlay on top of the arms now there are ratchet joints in the arms but it does disfigure and I'm worried that it's going to destroy itself or even stick to itself over time if you leave it in a bent position. The second annoying thing is the way that this baton holsters do be careful when you are sliding it in because it is extremely tight so you can already see that some of the white paint is rubbing off onto the baton itself. The third annoying thing is trying to get the blaster into his hand it's just really really difficult and while the hand is rubbery it just is a bit of a struggle and I think it doesn't sit quite right it has a gun pointing down look which is nice but I really wish that it sat all the way in the hand you can see it sits up really high as well. Just wrapping up on this solo patrol trooper I think as I said in the intro of this video this is one that you can't afford to miss out on this is a really unique trooper design I know it doesn't come with a lot of accessories and I don't think we'll be seeing the bike anytime soon but it's the fact that it's an awesome trooper and it's an all new looking design we haven't seen that for ages and I'm really loving that all of these Disney films are really fleshing out the ranks of the Empire and I really do like the look of this new patrol trooper he is, he is just one of the best looking troopers I think on the shelf the design is classic enough to fit in with the original trilogy troopers but it also has a new flair as well with more sort of tech details and I really do like that and coupled with the fact that he's got all the weapons and storage it's just a really really nice touch they also did some wonders with the articulation that I am very very impressed with so overall I definitely do think you should go ahead and pick up this patrol trooper I'm going to do a new segment in all of my reviews where at the end of the video I tell you if it's dope or nope and in this instance this is 100% dope you should go ahead and pick it up as I said the link is down in the description below for Philip Liu the toy wizard from Toys Wonderland HK his eBay Facebook and Instagram pages are all down there also check out Mint and Seal Box Media, Mint and Seal Box, the official six scale figure podcast, and also check out Justin's Collector Group on Facebook. That's about it, guys. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video.